so today we are doing part three of Undertale, and we are starting here in Snowden, and we are probably going to be moving on to the papyrus battle. <laughs> Let's do this! I'll probably cut out a lot of the dialogue, but uh, there was one part of this dialogue that I wanted to point out is, hmm, uh, I think it's in this one. What do we do here? You want to know what to do in Snowden? Girlbees has food, the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those two, those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. I don't know what that means. What does it mean to assert yourself? I guess I could Google it, but I don't have my phone with me. I don't know where my phone is. I lost my phone, guys. Oh well. Now I don't need to worry about getting interruptions, though. <laughs> Although it's probably here in my room, so if it goes off, you guys are probably going to hear it. Uh, the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Okay, it wasn't there. Maybe it's in this one. Think back to your history class. <laughs> a long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh. And don't think about trying to explore the ruins. This is it. They're right here. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. That is like a little detail that just really caught my attention once. Because obviously Napstablook was in the ruins and then you see him again in Waterfall. Who else do you see in the ruins and outside of it? Flowey because he can burrow under the door. Just like, it's like a little detail and it's just like, I was just getting way too worked up about that. Anyway, should I buy, I should buy cinnamon buns. I don't have room for anything, do I? What do I have? Why is my inventory full? I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna save. Butterscotch pie and the snowman piece, and I'm gonna put the toy knife away. Now I can buy cinnamon buns. Or cinnamon bunnies, as they're called. What do I have? Do I have the manly bandana or the tough glove? I have the tough glove, so I should probably buy the manly bandana. Defense! See? Right there was my phone. I heard it. Where in bloody hell is it? One second. It was a Twitter notification. It was gonna bug me if I didn't know where my phone was. I don't I don't know why. I'm a bit paranoid like that. Bye! Bye now! I have no idea what kind of voice to give her. I mean, she seems like a kind of brute of a girl. Mom says that sleeping can recover your your health over the maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know. What's in this? Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Let's stay. See, this actually is a tune. Like, there's a tune. said it was the Snowden theme, but I don't know what it is and it's gonna drive me crazy. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. I'm gonna skip a lot of the talking because a lot of it's just kind of like filler. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. I don't think that's my normal voice for the monster kid. I don't know, I'll figure it out along the way. Dialogue. 
dot dot dot. Grilbs says that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Cause he's made of fire. Lol. Du, 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 du. Some of the things that these guys say is kind of depressing. Like, just keep smiling. It's like. <laughs> to have his job. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, what is he accomplishing anyway? Although, if we were to jump on one of those blocks of ice, we would have gone straight to the core and we could have skipped everything. I have a cut on my hand. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. That is just messed up. I just, I, I what? Okay. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Oh yeah. Library. My brer B. <laughs> they put an extra B in. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Monster funerals. Typically speaking, are, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. See, there's something that bugs me, is that they're all monsters, but they don't refer to each other as monsters. They refer to each other as people and person. I feel like that's kind of a, a miss, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just bugs me. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, okay. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. I wish. Could you imagine if, like, magic was, like, real? You know? Like, not any specific kind of magic, but just magic in general. Like, the world could be magical in general. I don't know where I'm going with that. Don't ask me. Don't ask. <laughs> They'll never let get a bullet pattern birthday card. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are, are attuned to their soul. If a monster does not want to fight, its defense will weaken. Okay. And the crueler the intentions of our enemy, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck the struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. Why would oh, finish it? Monster history part four. What about part one, two, and three? Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and sweat and swearing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, new home. Again. Our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. That is a low blow. Come on, focus camera. There we go. That is a low blow, though. I, uh, man. The thing is, it's true, though. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread milk junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Oh. Uh, no. You realize that would probably be illegal. <laughs> it is actually to get into people's mailboxes. <laughs> it's locked. Yeah, I know. It's locked from the inside. On to the papyrus battle. Let's blue this. A. Hey. Yeah, no. <laughs> but did you guys get it? <laughs> I promise I won't do something like that again. <laughs> Alright. Hold on. 
I would probably die doing Papyrus' voice. Camera! My god, why does it keep going out of focus? Ugh. Anyway. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past lover. The admiration of others, of another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. <laughs> so egotistical. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. I had to look at that word for a second. That's Papyrus. The three Ps. Papyrus is popular, prestigious, and powerful. Yeah. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Alright, here we go. Okay. Okay, um, anyway, so everyone in this battle always goes straight into act, which is what the game has pretty much wanted you to do since the beginning. But, if you don't go into act, or if you just skip using the flirt action, oh my god. Oops. I didn't want to do that. I was going to show you guys, but okay, so when you flirt with him, he instantly assumes that you want to date him. So when you go through with it, you go on a date with him, and um, it says dating start and things like that. Well, when you don't do the flirting, it actually says hangout, not dating. So, I can make spaghetti. Oh no, y'all meeting all of my standards! I guess that means I have no- I have to go on a date with you, see? If I didn't flirt, man, I wish I would have showed you guys that! Oh well. Think about what to wear on his date. Okay, well, yeah. Then you skip over to spare and then he- So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my favorite blue attack! See? Let's blue this! Sorry. Ding! <laughs> I was ready for that one! Y'all blue now! Oh my god! Okay, so my brother got a really big kick out of that line, right? So when I was battling Undyne the Undying, ah, uh, that's gonna be a spoiler. I'm not gonna talk about that. Never mind. <laughs> I can jam the bone trouser all the time. Why don't I have it on my phone? Out of all the songs from Undertale I have on my phone, I don't have bone trouser. Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. I'm having horrible flashbacks now. Oh jeez. <laughs> about the date thing. Obviously you are. I can see you blushing, Papyrus. Can skeletons blush? Oh, come on. I could do so much better than that. That's marinara sauce behind his ear. Hold up longer to jump higher, jeez. Oh, it's because I got hit. They all have a dialogue if you can just cons uh, consistently get hit in the battle. They all have a different dialogue, which is interesting. Uh, Dad's MTT brand Bishi Cream behind his ear. What is that? What's Bishi Cream? Is that actually a thing? Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Oh no! The bunny hops! Not the bunny hops! <laughs> like I said, horrible flashback. Okay, I can almost taste my future popularity. My foot itches, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, oh, come on, you sneaky little... I'm not gonna 
finish that sentence. My footage! I need to get it! Don't even! I know Papyrus' battle is easy. More or less. Don't say it. <laughs> mother for papyrus or something like that. She's amazing. I would not have made that if I wasn't, uh, flashing invincibility! <laughs> <laughs> the king will trim a hedge in the shape of, in the shape of my smile. If only the bones moved faster. I think that's what's getting me. The bones aren't moving quick enough and I want to dodge them quicker. Uh, prepares a non-bone attack that spends and then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Wow. My brother, well, well, he won't change very much. Sans, you lazy bones! All you do is sit around and boondoggle! Oh man, I should probably eat something. <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers, but... God, I suck at this today. Squeal, my voice is gone, by the way, guys. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I definitely jumped on beat, and I made it. It smells like bones! Someone like you is really rare. Aw, oh, man! Those ones always get me. Mm. Now that you're getting a bit interesting, and dating might be kind of hard. Oh, horrible, horrible flashbacks. You megalomaniac. you're captured and sent away. You can see me tensing up from, uh, almost getting hit. Uh, who cares? Give up! I'm not quitting on you, Papyrus! Give up or face my special attack! battle fun fact he'll just lock you away but then you have to start all over what the heck that's my special attack hey you stupid dog do you hear me stop munching on that bone hey what are you doing come back here with my special attack i feel like i'm really yelling my headphones are up too loud probably <laughs> oh well i'll just use a really cool regular attack Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Um, maybe I, yeah. Because I don't want to risk starting it over, because, oh, it's a bit of a pain. Okay, it's an absolutely normal attack. Okay. That 
totally just cheated the game. I don't know why that's- Oh! That little baby bone that comes up at the end. Why? Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Well, oh, I can't read apparently. I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. When a... When a monster doesn't want to fight, its defense drops significantly. A fatal blow with the intent to kill. I could probably kill Papyrus in one hit right here, right now. But I will not! I'll spare you, Papyrus! Because I don't want to deal with Sans, that's probably why. <laughs> Sans don't let you live down killing his brother! There was one time I went through and killed just Papyrus. I did a playthrough just killing Papyrus. That was it. No other monsters, just Papyrus. And Sans... I'm getting, like, shivers just thinking about it. Because it's, like, it, like, literally is intimidating to me. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> no. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. My friend quantity will remain stagnant. Should I be mean? I should definitely be mean and just be like, what a loser. No, I can't. Let's be friends with Pirates. I heard something and it scared the crap out of me. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then. I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie. We haven't even had our first date yet. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people all the puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you a, a permission to pass through. And I'll give you direction to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human soul. He wants to open the barrier with his soul power. Then, us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big, blushy, fluffy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> He is like a proper Jesus, just walking on water. Okay. Yeah. Oops. I didn't have my fingers on the right buttons. Alright. Um, yeah, I know people usually go back and do the papyrus date right after the battle, but I think some of the dialogue at, dialogue at the end is different if you don't do things right off the bat. So I'm going to kind of skip out on... The, un the papyrus date and the undying cooking lesson. I'm going to skip out on that until the very end. I, my voice there when I was talking, I kind of sounded like um, papyrus until the very end. <laughs> At least my papyrus voice. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> That voice makes me think of something. It reminds me of Tough Nut from, um, uh, or Rough Nut from, um, How to Train Your Dragon. The way she talks. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, sh yeah, I'm definitely gonna give Monster Kid the Tough Nut voice. All the 
gives you gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. N never trust a flower. That's one of the cons constant. That's one of the constants of this world. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 da. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many for legally required breaks. I'm going to grow these. Wanna come? Yeah! Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here! I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? I'm getting really lost in the music. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, everyone. Hi, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. But um, tush. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions in on the seats. As if you're not the weirdo who put the whoopee cushion on the seat. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Ooh. You know what? I could go for a burger. Cause I work at fast food so I munch on fries like all the time. So I want a burger. I was working last night which is probably why I don't want fries. So. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grill me. We'll have double order burg. Is that a comb? Was he just combing his skull? I've never noticed that. Does that happen every time or is it just because like this is the second playthrough or something like that? So what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Nah, mate. I don't do sauces on my sandwiches or anything. Which is weird, I know, but I don't, alright? <laughs> so, I mean, if it was typically me sitting there with Sans, he'd offer me ketchup and I would tell him no. Which is funny because when you do, he chugs the bottle. <laughs> Which is disgusting, if you ask me! Ketchup is so gross! The only time I eat ketchup is on, like, potatoes, fries, and things like that. Anyway. Cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. That awkward silence when you have nothing to say. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Um, yeah? So you know all about it. The echo flower. No. No. I was talking about flowering. <laughs> They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over again. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and will whisper things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Ooh. I got chills, dude. The music is just perfect for this scene. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Will do. Anything to have Papyrus' back, right? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, 
By the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. No? Just kidding. Girl, we put it on my tab. Was it really 10,000 gold for a couple of burgers? I mean, a glam burger is only like 200 G, isn't it? By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Whenever somebody says that to me, I get really curious as to what they were going to say. Like, they're like, oh yeah, I was going to say something, but I forgot. It's like, well now I just want to know what you had forgotten. Something can happen up here and I want it to happen, but I can't make it happen! I don't think I've ever had it happen to me, actually. I spit on my screen. as you walk by! I just spilled water on my laptop. Oops. Oh my god, please don't die. Please don't die, Daniel. Don't die, please. I need you. I need you. I do everything on my freaking laptop, not even kidding. Let's sing out again sometime. All right. Uh, no, I don't need to use the. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh, but it won't come. In there, there's something down here, isn't there? What's down here? Necoflow. I swore I saw something behind the rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall! Huh. Why are rocks flowing through water? Rocks sink. My inventory's full, isn't it? Oh, no, no it's not. Okay. I saw something outside my window. My god, I keep. I'm like really jumpy today or something. I don't know why. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What, did I, did I capture them? Uh, well, no. I, I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Imagine being there. Hey, that's a nice touch. Even under her armor, only the one eye lights up. And that, I wanted to talk about that. Okay? So when she walks, you hear every step she takes because her armor is like either really rattly or it's like really heavy so she takes really heavy steps. So you hear the rattling of the metal when she moves. Where did she just go though? She just backed up and then vanished. Does she have the same teleporting power as Sans does? And even if that, where does that ability come from? I've thought so long about that and I don't I don't have an answer. I don't I don't know. Oh, I was like, why can't I move? <laughs> Yo, did you see what she Yeah. Did you see the way she was staring at you? That 
was awesome! I'm so jealous! What do you what do you do to get our attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, Oh, the music. I always lose it. <laughs> the feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Alright, Finn. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. They squeak when you pick them up. It's amazing. My brother got a kick out of it. He likes the squeaky noise. So one time, whenever he was watching me play, I walked up to one of the mushrooms that you could turn on and off, and I just kept turning it on and off. <laughs> and you know, it squeaks, it's like, squeak, 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 squeak! Is that the same as the mouse squeak? Battle! Aaron flexes in, alright. Aaron flexes twice as hard, attacks increase for you too. Oh, jeez. Yes, I'm going to show you guys a little secret here. Although a lot of you guys have probably already known about it. I actually didn't think I was going to be going on beyond the uh, Papyrus battle, but then whenever I remembered that I wasn't going to do the Papyrus bait, um, this was going to be a very short video if I just stopped right after the Papyrus battle, huh? There's a long quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Yes. You got the abandoned quiche. All right. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. I wonder what that's all about. But no, the whole quiche thing, apparently Toby Fox was um, at like a park or something. And um, he... Um, he walks up to this bench, and apparently underneath it, there was, a, like, a quiche. There was a quiche sitting under the bench, just like there. And I guess that's why he put it in the game. Turning off all the mushrooms. Because I can. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> That's a lot of phone numbers to try. So, what are you wearing? <laughs> I can't say that without giggling. <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. When I ran into Undyne, I was not wearing a dusty tutu. Like when I saw her and she thought and she saw me in the in the uh in the weeds. I was wearing the tough glove then. It wasn't until after that that I had gotten the dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? She's watching me! She's freaking watching me! First I had Flowey behind me and now I got freaking Undyne. I think I'd rather just have Flowey, because, I mean, Flowey's not very intimidating, but Undyne. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a dusty tutu. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it! Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Alright. Long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish could come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. I like that they actually uh, put in a little detail like that about, like, seeing stars. What I don't understand is that it's rain it rains later on. Thousands of people wishing together c can't, be can't be wrong. The king will prove that. 
My face really itches. Oh, my nose. Come on, sis, make a wish. Oh, I'm not gonna know what the wish is. Wish -wa! I shall clean you. Or not. You ask Washwa to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. No! No! Yes! I forgot I changed the names to Pink again. So I wasn't sure I could spare him or not. Wish my sister will, will see the real star someday. Aww. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Okay. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakest weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul, which is really weird to think about. Your strength being your weakness. Although that is the case with like any monster, like with any creature or like you know mythical idea or something like that. I don't know where I'm going with this. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul? A horrible beast with unfathomable power. That was a really hard word for me to say. Unfathomable. There we go. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay. Music just stops. Ooh, there was something I saw. There was something I had seen. And I'm gonna see if it works. Aww. I forgot which one this was, too. I thought it was the one that popped up from the ground. Because I remember making a comment that it sounded weird seeing... It was weird seeing Finn in that. Okay, let's do this again. And I'm, I am going to get it to speed up like that again. I'm just going to edit it out. Alright, I got him going real fast again. See, this one is the harder one for me. The other one is, like, super easy for me. Like, doing it during this one, I mean, it's, it's hard for me. No! Run, run, girly, run. Run, girly, run. Undyne, I do love you. Please don't kill me. Again. I remember each time you killed me before, and I'll never forget it, I promise. Just no more kills, please. I never realized how much shorter that one is. find you. 
Oh, <laughs> the little grin on the monster kid's face. <laughs> All right. Can't move. There we go. I'm like, where is she? Or he? I don't know what the monster kid is. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face again. Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't want to see her again. No, wait, I do. I, I do want to see her again. I'm gonna go back. Cause I've never, I mean, I've, whenever, I tried to go back once, uh, whenever I was actually in the scene when it was like the running and everything. And uh, I tried to go back, but it blocks the way. Uh, she's got spears that block the way of going back. So I'm just curious if there is something back here. Like if you backtrack, if it does something. Knowing this game, it does, you know, because freaking secrets are out every bloody corner. All right then. Fair enough. Nothing here. I'll just eat my own words too, because I definitely thought that there would have been a secret back there or something. There is some, there is one spot that I definitely want to backtrack and show you guys a little secret, because holy crap, is it just, ah, my heart. I can't do it. I'll probably edit that bit out. Three gold for the fairy. No thanks, I'm good. Later then, okay. Probably not later. Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mythical crystal, it fills you with determination. still carrying the faded ribbon. <laughs> Think about getting into the telescope business. It's normally about 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Uh, sure. Great! Okay, I should have remembered that, but I didn't, so thank you, Sans. Squeaky mushrooms. Yes, I'm skipping the ice cream guy, because meh. <laughs> What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Nope, sorry, mate. Alright, I'll progress a little bit further and then I'll probably call it. You can you hear a passing conversation. So, do you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kinda stupid. Never think your wishes are stupid. I thought my microphone stopped. Mold small! Oh, right, I can spare them right off the bat. Forgot that. I haven't seen a mold small since the ruins, so. Squeaky mushrooms. There we go. Okay, I wanted to make sure I had room in this inventory for the pair of ballet shoes. I 
what that flower is. It doesn't look like an echo flower. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Oh, really? Who else would be calling me other than Toriel? But she doesn't want to call. Remember when you when I asked you about your clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you already knew that. And because you knew that, I told her that you were wearing that you were wearing were wearing a dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course. After such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I don't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Actually, it's not. You can't be friends with everyone, Papyrus. Oh, Washua. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Uh, I'm bumping buttons because my laptop's teeny tiny. Dang it. Okay, no, this this is not fun. I don't like Washua. For some like usually I do really well during his battles though. Like I don't know what's wrong with me today. I apparently can't game today. That and I'm probably really tired after 40 after working 40 hours in the past four days. So, yeah. Not making up excuses though. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. The power of to take their souls. This is the power the humans feared. I've seen this hentai before. <laughs> I'm debating if I want to leave that in. <laughs> You were here. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun, you hear? Yeah, you look like an onion. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? I love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Oh, and the aquarium's full anyway. So even if I wanted to, I... that's okay though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. You hear? I feel like that's really loud. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Yeah, I hear you. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in Waterfall. Okay. Shiren hides in Shiren. Hides in the corner, but some somehow, somehow encounters you anyway. Um. Conduct. You wave your arms wildly. You are now. Vulnerable to electric attacks. What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> toot. Toot, toot. Uh, what, what does it say? I know it says something here. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Oh, a tone deaf siren. The deadly song? Oh, I get it. Okay. Um. Hum? Yay! You hum a sad song. Sharon follows your me melody. See Ray, see Ray, see me, see me. Oh, jeez. Okay, <laughs> that was too close. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. When you actually only have to play the first seven notes. One, two, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. Hello. Oh, I love that little tune. Oops. actually know the whole song. That's what I was trying to think of. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have delayed that. <laughs> Will you take it? Sure. You're carrying too many dogs. <laughs> you deploy the annoying do the dog. Poor Jack when that happened, his little he was literally like <laughs> I felt so bad because he was having so much trouble matching the tones on the um piano. I felt so bad when um that happened to him. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be, would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called Boss Monster. A Boss Monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. Only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now, it never will. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seemed dry. Yes, I'm putting the umbrella, even though I already solved the puzzle, but... The music, again, I'm telling you, I just get lost in it. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. It's weird that it... Oh. When you walk away from it, it gets quieter! What?! I'm sorry, like, for some reason, that just, like, blew my mind. All right, I'm going to pass through this part and then we're probably going to call it quits there. So you can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Let's go. Strolling along in the rain. See, like I said, like how does it rain down here? Even later on in the game, Alphys even says that they don't get weather. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> Thanks. I want pizza all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to go out and get pizza. <laughs> so one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to do donate his own flowers. He ended up co coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. That's what you think. I'm innocent. Yet she wants to beat me up. Termination. Alright, I'm gonna call this here. This one was actually a longer video because I really didn't know where I wanted to stop. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys really didn't mind.
Um, probably a lot of that stuff is getting cut out, though. I don't know. I've got to do my editing and everything. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to check out my last vlog or subscribe to Tobin to make a new gaming video, click the annotations on the screen for you mobile users. The links will be in the description below, as will any of the links to any of the social media if you become a proper stalker. You can click those links now because this video is over. Bye, guys. Thank you.